everyone and welcome to another Scrimming Frog Quickfire Guide on checking for duplicate content. So the SEO Spider will by default find exact duplicate pages. However, you do need to configure the tool to find it near duplicates where some of the page matches in content. To do this, you need to go to configuration, content, duplicates and just click on enable near duplicates. What this does is it saves the content to be able to be used by the MinHash algorithm to help identify near duplicates. Now there's a couple of other configuration options here that are useful to know about. Only check indexable pages for duplicates does exactly as you'd expect. This means if you have two URLs that are the same, but one is canonicalized to the other and therefore is non-indexable, this won't be reported, it won't be flagged unless this option is obviously disabled. So if you're interested in finding crawl, crawl budget issues, so for example, you have 100,000 pages that are canonicalized to their canonical versions, they wouldn't be identified um, by either exact or near duplicates unless this option was disabled. So it can help find areas of potential cruel waste anyway, or if you're a perfectionist and you want to fix every little issue. Now, near duplicate similarity threshold is set at 90% similarity match within the spider. This can be adjusted to find content with a lower similarity threshold, and it can also be done post crawl. We recommend keeping it at 90% for initially from the initial crawl. So we're just gonna start crawling the BBC website here and you can see that the URL is being populated here. Now to, to find and to view the duplicate pages, you just need to click on the content tab at the top here. And this tab has various filters, two of which are around duplicate pages, exact duplicates and near duplicates. It also has a few other filters here, which we won't talk about just now. Now, when you click on the filter, you're also taken to the relevant section within this right hand window pane, which shows you these filters as well. So the content tab, you can see the exact and near duplicates filters and the three other filters mentioned here. And this updates in real time. You can see the numbers updating against various filters here. So it's not identified any exact duplicate pages just yet. And near duplicates, instead of having a number, it has cruel analysis required in brackets next to it. This means that you need to run cruel analysis, which I'll go into in just a moment. I can now see that four pages have appeared under exact duplicates. So let's have a look at those. We can see that there's a couple of privacy pages and a couple of other pages here. Now, the exact duplicates filter shows any pages that are identical to each other using an MD5 algorithm, which calculates a hash value for each page, which could be seen here in this hash column. This check is performed against the full HTML of the page. Now, these pages are identical. They have to be 100% the same. So even one character difference would mean that they wouldn't appear under this filter and you can see they're ordered as well together so they're ordered by hash value so you can see that they appear next to each other so you can simply just export these out now near duplicates is a little bit different because you need to do run crawl analysis which is really easy you can just click on crawl analysis and then start and it will run if you run it in the past you might want to click on configure and just make sure that content near duplicates is ticked you can see here that this populates a number of different filters and also link score, which is a column available in the internal tab. And so you can just go to crawl analysis, start, check in the top right hand corner for the analysis to reach 100%. And then you can see near duplicates is now populated. And there are six near duplicate pages here. And you can see various columns here, closest similarity match and number of near duplicates in particular. The closest similarity match column displays the highest percentage of similarity to another page. So the entertainment page has a, a, another page with a 95% similarity, which you can guess will probably be this page here, but I'll show you how to, how to see that in just a moment. The number of near duplicates column displays the number of pages that are similar to the page based upon the similarity threshold that you've chosen, which is 90% in this case. The algorithm is run against text on the page rather than the full HTML like exact duplicates. So the content used for this analysis is different to that used for 
for for exact and also pages here can have 100% similarity but only be a near duplicate and this is because if they appear under exact duplicates they won't appear within near duplicates as well so they're not flagged twice now you can click on a url in the top window and then the duplicate detail tab at the bottom to to view its near duplicate addresses which you can see here if i just expand that out i can also see this similarity here so the entertainment page has a 95% similarity to this review page and if i click on the url you can see this populates the right hand content preview which shows a diff of the content and the differences in content in red and green so we can see the word entertainment and magazines and reviews are different and the number next to view all the rest of the content which isn't highlighted is identical and you can go through and view those on all of these pages which is pretty useful now to export these in bulk to export the address and the near duplicate address and their similarity um, next to them, I recommend using bulk export, going down to content and exporting near duplicates there. Now, I do also have a final tip around the content area that's used for near duplicates. This can actually be refined under configuration content area. By default, the SEO spider will consider any text within the body, the HTML body, um, of the website but it does exclude anything in the nav or anything in the footer to try and help focus on the main content area but you can refine that and we'll do that now because there's a couple of things that you can refine post crawl and then re-update the analysis so I'm just going to crawl a different website one which I know better let's crawl our own website so I'm going to crawl the Screaming Frog website here and I'll go to the content tab and I'll just pause the crawl and I'll run crawl analysis and I can see here that there's uh, near duplicates of our license page for the SEO spider and our log file analyzer software. The pages themselves are pretty much exactly the same apart from the name and the price here which you can see in this in this diff. But the interesting thing here is that actually it's pulling in this main uh, navigation here. Now if you go to configuration content area you can see here that we've actually excluded the nav so for some reason actually the nav is being pulled with it pulled into the main content area and so if we check the html of the website we can see here if we scroll down we can see the main nav here and we can see here's the nav element the html5 element here and we can see the main menu and we can see actually it closes here and then we have a separate mobile menu outside of that nav which hasn't been excluded so if i wanted to exclude that i can actually just highlight that copy it and i'll just move that out of the way and i can just put it into exclude classes and click ok and i'm just going to go in and just change the threshold as well because this may change the threshold change that to 80 percent I'll go to crawl analysis, rerun crawl analysis. We can see that actually it did close to similarity matches 88%. But more importantly, if I click on that, click on the new Jupyter address, I can see in the content preview that the, the, the uh, mobile navigation has been removed from the content analysis and the near duplicate check that is performing. So if you wanted to refine the area that you're analyzing or you wanted to refine the threshold post crawl you can just go into configuration go to duplicates refine the similarity threshold or refine the content area and then rerun crawl analysis you don't need to perform the whole crawl again to find duplicate and near duplicate pages that's everything on finding duplicate pages thanks